Hi, my name is Amber Watford and today we're going to be discussing technology integration frameworks. The first framework we're going to discuss is the Triple E framework. This framework measures the degree to which the technology in a lesson is helping students meet the learning goals. This framework was created by Professor Liz Cobb at the University of Michigan School of Education in 2011. Cobb's goal was to design a framework that educators could easily evaluate how to select tools that would create a positive impact on the learning outcomes and student achievement. The Triple E framework focuses on the engagement, enhancement, and extension of learning. The following questions can be used for analysis. For engagement, you could ask, does the technology allow students to focus on the task of the assignment or activity with less distraction? Does the technology motivate students to learn the learning process? Does the technology cause a shift in the behavior of the student, where they move from passive to active social learners? For enhancement, you can ask, does the technology tool aid students in developing or demonstrating a more sophisticated understanding of the content? Does the technology create scaffolds to make it easier to understand concepts or ideas? Does the technology create paths for students to demonstrate their understanding of the learning goals in a way that they could not do with traditional tools? For extension, you could ask, does the technology create opportunities for students to learn outside of their typical school day? Does the technology create a bridge between school learning and everyday life experiences? Does the technology allow students to build skills that they can use in their everyday lives? The purpose of the Triple E framework, unlike other technology frameworks, the Triple E framework focuses on the learning goals and not specific technology tools. The framework draws on educational research concerning effective and ineffective practices with technology tools from the past two decades. The main idea is that there's a lot of research around ed technology over the past two decades that does actually tell us what are effective and ineffective practices when using technology in the classroom, in particular to leverage learning. And what we've noticed is that um, most teachers, including myself many times, are not always using those effective practices, not necessarily because they don't want to, but because uh, sometimes we don't know about those practices. The Triple E framework is different from other frameworks such as Addy, TPAC, RAT, Tim, and many others that focus on the integration of technology through the use of a tool, whereas the Triple E framework focuses on how technology alone is helpful for the student's achievement and learning goals. Dr. Cobb discusses how unlike TPAC, which is a conceptual framework that needs a practical tool to aid teachers and how it can be used in an active learning environment, the Triple E framework is the tool in use. Since the framework consists of the three E's, engagement, enhancement, and extension, ideally a lesson plan would want to center around activities that are going to meet all these areas. For instance, a lesson on weather prediction in a science class can incorporate all three of the E's. Start off with extension and have the students look at the current forecast for the week. This ties the lesson into real world issues. Then, moving into enhancement, by allowing the students to use reflective notebooks to write down their analysis of how correct or incorrect the weather predictions were for each day. Finally, we want to end with engagement, and this area is where technology is incorporated. An online polling, an online polling tool such as Poll Everywhere can be used from any phone, tablet, laptop, or computer. The students will be presented a poll where they are given a prompt and asked to discuss the results. This tool allows students the ability to share aloud what they have learned and can even dig deeper into why they think the weather behaved the way it did on certain days. This tool allows those students with social anxiety and nonverbal students a chance to partake in the classroom lesson. Technology Integration Matrix Framework, or TIM for short. The Technology Integration fr Matrix Framework is a framework that focuses on describing and targeting the use of technology to enhance student learning. The TIM incorporates the five characteristics of the learning environment along with the five levels of technology integration. With these combined, it creates a 25 cell matrix. Each cell is meant to help guide and assist in the learning process. The the TIM framework was developed as a constructivist learning theory and based off research related to teacher practice. TIM was designed to be a practical guide for teachers that strive to take their teaching practices further. 
By following along the levels at the top of the matrix, the classroom transforms from a traditional teacher-centered classroom to a now student-centered classroom that ultimately encourages the students to create freely. The levels at the top of the matrix can also relate back to Bloom's taxonomy, where the pyramid begins with understanding the material at a basic or entry level to the top, where they have obtained the ability to apply their knowledge. The same path from entry level to transformation level is pushed through the use of technology, where the teacher introduces the students to a variety of technology tools, so that eventually the students can learn or create using whatever technology tool they wish. The TIM framework can be used um, through multiple different ways. The website itself provides many active learning scenarios that teachers can use in their classrooms. Spelling patterns is one lesson that incorporates the use of laptops, video cameras, and tripods in the learning process. This lesson is targeted towards the K through two grade level where the students will select words to represent spelling patterns that they have learned. The students create mini posters that contain a picture of the word and the spelling pattern that goes along with it. The students join into small groups to collaborate and write a script, film a video, and edit the video. To the end, to end the lesson, students will watch the finished product. The videos can be incorporated into future classrooms for students to watch and learn about spelling patterns. The TPAC model framework is a framework that represents the knowledge base that teachers need to have in order to integrate technology into discipline-specific teaching and learning activities. TPAC is technological, pedagogical, content knowledge, composed of three components of teacher's knowledge that are interrelated. CK, which is the content knowledge, focuses on the knowledge of the subject. PK, which is the pedagogical knowledge, focuses on the knowledge of learning about how we learn, essentially the processes, methods, and techniques used when teaching and learning. TK, which is the technological knowledge, focuses on the use of technology for productivity by information processing, communication, and problem solving. The purpose of the TPAC model framework is based on the idea that successful integration of technology is contingent upon the blending of technology knowledge with pedagogy and content knowledge, with the aim to aid teachers in understanding how the union of individual knowledge areas of pedagogy, technology, and content can guide in purposeful learning environments. Though the original framework has held a strong grip on teachers, it has also been reconceptualized to focus more in-depth on its individual constructs. Some renditions would be MTPAC, specifically created for the teaching of math, or ICT TPAC, which centers on the information and communication technologies, and even EFL TPAC for teaching English as a foreign language. Ultimately, the purpose of the TPAC model is that technology should be used as fuel for extensive learning experiences, whether that be inside or outside of our classrooms. The TPAC model can be used in a lesson such as math, where the teacher must have a heavy grasp of the subject. This aligns with the content knowledge component. For instance, a lesson on complex numbers in a pre-calculus course requires a teacher that understands the process and steps required to solve such intricate math problems. This is the content knowledge. Moving into the pedagogical knowledge, we need to aim to navigate the lesson around the learning styles in which our students excel. For students who are more visual learners, teachers can use a smart board to actively work through an equation in front of their students. For students who learn better by reading or writing, the use of a tablet can be beneficial because you can present an equation to your students and they must work through the problem on their tablet. Combining the CK or content knowledge of the math teacher with the use of the TK or the technological knowledge of the smart board with the PK or the pedagogical knowledge of the different learning styles, this lesson would represent a true TPAC model framework representation. And that was my three technology integration frameworks discussed the triple E model framework, the technology integrated matrix framework, and the TPAC framework. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching.